everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's little adventure, Hodge Close Quarry. But to start with, I've got to get down there. So, wish me luck with this one. Uh, I have just got down. It's about a metre, two metre drop is that. So I've got to get back up that way. But we are slowly just making his way down here. Because seeing the image lately, reflecting in the bottom of here. So that's what I've come to try and get. But it is a bit steep going down here. And a bit precarious. Hence I've got the stick. So yeah, taking myself, being very, very steady going down here. So when I get to the bottom, I'll bobby back on. Yeah, part of an old car here, look. And it's engine. That is an old one, is that? Look at this. Another one here, look. Another part of a car, look. There you go. Can you see the entrances to the cave? What this side, one at that side. Well, I'm just going to wait for it to flatten out, and then we'll try and get down to the, just down to the edge there, and take the image reflecting. Right. There we go. That's the image we're after. Just starting to level off now is the reflections but well, the full reflection of the cave dropping in there's a few bits of shit floating around in it I might have to try and um, screw about but yeah it is starting to reflect quite nice now is this so yeah bit of a trek to get down here got to get back up yet <laughs> but the other side where the old um, ridge in that is the old crane that's where we're going to go next. So back up and back round. But yeah, once I've sorted this out, I'll um, bob these on for you next. Also, just while I'm sat here, you can actually see the ledge. It just disappears straight away under the water. This should pick you up because it's like a line green coming round. There you go, then back around. So yeah, it does, does suddenly drop off, does this. So yeah, apparently there's caverns and tunnels galore underneath there. A lot of divers have been down there exploring it. So yeah, I think there's one or two of them on YouTube as well. But yeah, this is just, it's starting to level out nice now. There we go, look. So yeah, I'll bobby these images now on now. Because that could be it from down here. These are one of the two other caves down here. We aren't going to bother with that. So I came down here just for this reflection image. So it is nice and calm now, look, as you can see. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll bob these on now for you and also flip it so it makes a face that's why I'm down here <laughs> so yeah I'll get to the top anyway next and we'll go back around but I think it'll be a bit of breakfast first <laughs> Thank you. 
I've just quickly had the drone up for you. Doing a bit of a quick fly around here. So there we go. I'll leave you with this image while I try and get back up. <laughs> so yeah, I'll put the drone footage on now for you. And then I'm gonna try and get back up for a bit of breakfast and then I'm gonna go around the other side. I'm coming through one of these eyes. So after brekkie, I'll see you then. descending into the abyss <laughs> well top half anyway we'll make his way down to the caves with a bit of luck that first bit is quite steep if you want to come this way we'll follow the road down and you turn up to high oxen fell sign and then it's just on your right hand side is this but yeah just going to follow it down now and hopefully it'll take us to the caves. Got some old mossy trees in that down here, look. So yeah, look at this. Like a different world down here. It has dropped about five degrees as well. Look, I can see the caves in front. So let's make his way over to them. You'll probably see him when I see him. <laughs> so I'm going to keep you on. There we go, look, big slate slack heap there, look. So, yeah, that was actually dropped about five degrees down here. So, here we are. Fallen tree, look. Look under this. We're now coming up to the cave entrances. All bits of wire and stuff from the old mining works down here. There we go. See the first opening. This one could be where the old um, crane is, up out of the old workings. Yep, there we go, look. 
in that photo earlier. That was the eye. Yeah, you can hear it all dripping down as well. So yeah, here we go. This is the old workings lot. These ripples on it now. And we're leading you out. Still getting a couple of reflections. These some people I'm sailing as well now. So what I'll do, I think I'll get some with camera and take an image from down here. Now we're in the cave. As you can see, got us over the first shot now. I've got the tripod balanced <laughs> on the old stanchions and stuff. Basically I'm cutting the sky out because the sky is non-existent, but it is reflecting down here. Um, these ripples on it now, unlike earlier on when we were down at the other side, we've got that perfect reflection, which were ideal. Not too bothered about reflecting down here as such, but it's all about these old works going out into the bottom. So, taking one here, I will take a vertical as well. I'm going to try and get on the end as well and get it going in. I will put the polarizer on like I have now. I'll try and tweak it so it cuts out all the glare. So, you get this leading edge going straight on. So. About these first few up for you. Yeah, just let me know what you think, because it's a cracking place, is this? So within a couple of more shots now. I am just on the end. What I've done here, I've got the polarizer on just to cut the glare out from this stanchion that has actually gone under the water. See, we have got a few ripples on now. So I've taken a few shots here. Horizontal and vertical. It is quite bright. The sun is just catching a cloud just here, so we've got a bit of a bright spot. But I am cutting most of the oh well, I am cutting the sky out. It's all about just this image here. We will get one from further back as well. And of course, it's got to be a selfie time, hasn't it? <laughs> so I'll bob these up for you now. above you now. That's the entrance to this cave. You see all the marks where right? they've been chiselling away, look. Yeah, very impressive. Especially what this is as well, just to, obviously down there, I think it's about 50, foot deep, something like that. So with caverns underneath, so you can see how they've used this to lift all the gear up. So yeah, what a place. We'll take a shot as well, looking back. So, probably somewhere here, somewhere here. So it just gives this leading out into this cave. But yeah, fantastic. on this side it is wet because it is dripping like mad around this side and everything is wet so I'm being careful where to put my feet I've got no camera around this side I don't think it don't think it needs it round here there we go Put this side down. Although we are getting some reflections down there. It's quite nice actually. So I think the other side is a bit better photography wise, but 
Let's show us it all up here, look. Right, well, these little hooks and that in when they're doing a bit of climbing. The Arab sailing down there. Oh yeah. So a bit different. But exploration, let's say. <laughs> so yeah, try and get down without falling. There we go. Make his way back over now. It is lethal on these rocks when they're wet. So it's just just be careful. Like with the limestone up in Yorkshire, it is lethal when wet. So yeah, back on this side now. What I'll do, I'll um, put the final images up now for you. I'll give you a quick view of this again before we go. Get on here, look. There we go. I think what I will do, I might just get the drone up and fly out of here. So, if you've enjoyed this, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And I'll end with the drone flying through here. <laughs> I'll see you again on the next one. Bye for now.